Now let's have a look. McGruin, two years younger, he's slightly shorter. Their record's very similar, both 16 wins apiece. And Jordan signed a couple more fights, but uh, pretty much even Stevens in this fascinating quarterfinal bout. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is quarterfinal fight number two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds of action with an extra round in play in case of a draw. This fight is brought to you by Flame Pizza in Mount Roscoe. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters wearing, wearing white trunks with silver and black trim. He weighed in at 67.8 kgs. He's the WKBF full tie rule amateur champion, the WAKO New Zealand K1, and NZMF NZ full tie rules champion. He is representing Urban Sports in Auckland with 16 wins, four losses, four big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Thomas Tornado McGruin. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Edges are wearing black trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 67.7 kgs. He's the WKBF NZ lightweight champion, the WKBF NZ junior and WKA South Pacific champion. Representing Dynamite Thai Boxing in Auckland. With 16 wins, five losses, one draw, two wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Jordan Sniper! Fighters to the center ring, please, for Victoria Nansen's instructions. Boys, you've heard the rules. You heard the rules at the back. Keep it clean, keep it minor. Touch gloves, please. Just uh, momentarily, the boys got a little bit close together. Doug Higgins in the red corner as coach. Greg Nesbitt in the blue corner from Urban Sport. As Thomas Fight McGruin's ready. coach, Jordan Sign, the man on the Fight right off. of your Fight. screen. The black shorts with the gold patterns. And he is slightly taller. Reach is very similar, though. Sign does have good distance control. But we see McGruin straight away. He's looking to land those straight shots. Guys from Urban Sport, too, pretty adept with their knees in particular, Dan. Yeah, McGruin did a good job there of starting out. Um, managed to put Sign in the corner. And he's doing a good job of controlling the inside. Well, the ability to, to mix in the hands, not just with the kicks, but the knees as well. Knees are an underutilized weapon often in K1 rules. So I'm just stepping over, looking to take that low leg, usually setting up the low kick with the left hook. This is with the teep up high. Interesting chest match. He's done that a couple of times with Gurren too. He's using that teep. To set up either a straight right or a knees. That's his lead leg teeth. So I'm going with the left hook again. Maybe just needs to vary that up a little bit so he doesn't get so easy to read. Nice work from McGruin coming back low. Yeah, very interesting matchup. Sime seems to be doing his best work when they're standing at range. He's got that long left hook, that long low kick, and running some teeps down the middle. But when McGruin decides to go, He's coming up the middle very well. McGruin just looks to have a little bit more weight in his legs too. Those uh, knees of his in particular look to have a fair bit of sting on them. Good work to the body from Sime. Trying to go with the knees after that. Remember this is K1 rules, knees to the heads are allowed, but uh, one hand, one knee, and then you have to disengage. And there, beautiful work there from McGruin, just the way he's using the knee off the right hand. This is a uh, chess match with pain right here. Both these boys, very skilled. Good work to the body there from Syme. Syme, the man on the left of your screen. McGruin, the man from Urban Sports in the white shorts. Like to see Syme just mix up that left hook with a half left uppercut or a 45 shot. Syme landed a right hand in there, but McGruin landed a nice knee as well. Good uppercut on the inside from Syme. He seems to be the man with greater work rate. McGruin 
A little bit more pepper in his tank. High teeth. Up to the face. Yeah, Syme's got an incredible... Um, you can definitely see why he's been called the sniper. He, he's very little wasted energy on his shots. He seems to be a very efficient fighter. Just by the looks of things, we've given... McGruin just has that strength advantage. He seems to be, when they get in the clinch, seems to be the stronger athlete of the two. That's going to be a hard round to score. Simon, so I think... Uh, I think he may have edged it just a, a little bit more busy, a little bit more accurate with his shots, but McGruin landed some heavier shots, so it will depend on what the judges favour. As we head into the red corner, Dynamite Doug Higgins. Yep, I see Shin, the right Shin. The six where Hitler, he checked it. Tell me when you're ready, Jordan. That's for me to talk. Now, stay away from those kicks so close. They're not affecting him. Yeah? That's right. Don't go about boom, because he's just taking them and he's walking through you, okay? Yeah? All he's got is that right hand. Power, power ready that right hand. Don't wait for him to. You're you. fucking work, okay? Don't cover up, okay? You're working. Everything that you're throwing is landing. You just need to throw it. Please. Uh, if we're to decide for that, Jordan Syme needs to be a bit more selective of where he is when he throws the kicks. And uh, there's a call for Thomas what? McGruin to well, two. buy more work rate from uh, Greg Nisbet. Here we go, underway, round two. Nice double up from Jordan Syme. And there's the, the knee work. From McGruin, that was taken on the gloves, looking to throw the high kick as Syme pulls out of the clinch. Good options there. Stop. Jordan Syme does take very clean options with with his work. And McGruin trying to use his strength to push Syme off and uh, set him up for kicks in that long straight right hand he throws. It's interesting in that um, when they start the exchanges, it seems to be the fighter that goes first is getting the better of these two exchanges. When Syme shoots his long punches off first, he seems to shut down McGowan. When McGowan leads with that team, grabs a hold of his gloves and runs that knee up the middle, he, he's, he's definitely in the advantage. Well, very adept analysis there from Hangman. We saw a good example of that from Jordan Syme. Stop In that exchange, as the hangman was talking, the guy who is getting underway first is creating the gap, creating the impetus to launch his attack. Not a lot of second phase from these guys at this point. Stop. Let go. Fight. That'll be something that Jordan Simon in particular would do well to do. There's the tie sweep. McGroon, of course, he's a two-time New Zealand tie boxing champion. Accurate shots from Jordan Syme. Good handy work with the boxing. Nice little twist, tie style out of the clinch. Gets him back into center ring. Yeah, well, Syme's doing his best work with the punches. I feel like that's where he's got the advantage. He's, he seems to be getting thrown off balance when he's throwing the kicks, or, or his kicks are getting checked by McGraw. So I'd like to see him just, just back his punches a little more. And he's landing. Crisply when he does throw. He's got a lot more punch variation. And he's starting to read the knees too of McGruin. He's just fading under some of the pressure now. Still needs to be cautious. McGruin looking for that right hand again. Did very well there to kick the leg up. Unlike Thai boxing, he won't get many points on the judges' scorecards for throws. They aren't. Uh, Valued that highly in K1 rules. So a lot of this work rate that Jordan Syme is putting together, and the K1 rules should be taking the judges' attention. Nice teeth and heavy leg kick from McGruin, though. Those are the kinds of shots he needs to stink, string together with a bit more frequency. Heavy leg kick once again from McGruin. And of round two. Well, a little right hand late from Jordan Syme. McGruin, he just looks a little bit worse for wear now as he shambles back into the corner. Yeah, it was just the punches of Jordan Syme in that round that I, I think managed to wear down the pressure of uh, McGruin. 
Yeah, Jordan Syme just starting to turn the tide a little bit with his work break. Understand? You can feel it, eh? The punches on his. And then get out there, bounce around a bit, bop, 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 bop. You're fresher than this, eh? You're making yourself look tight, will it, okay? You're winning. All right, second half this for the round third round and round final round. round. We're going to do it? Yeah. Tornado, go. Come on, good people, let's make some noise for the boys as they come out for round three. Good work. Round three coming up. Well, the two very Good even team. rounds, Jordan Syme perhaps edging Time ahead on. in the second. Fight. Round three. McGowan could have easily won the first, so it could be an even fight so far. Syme, though, his hands in particular were working a treat for him in the second round and looked to start to take a toll on McGowan. And just a variety of his handwork there from Syme as he has dumped yet again. But again... It's K1 rules, it is not Thai boxing rules. Seen a lot of spinning back fists already tonight. Just a reminder under K1 rules, there is provision for an extra round in the event of a draw. That one landed or half landed, went over the top of the glove from Syme. Not a lot of acid on it though, now Syme just starting to work away, doubling up on the knees before he's broken up. McGruin is put off balance by the inside thigh kick. Just starting to get a little bit tired now. And Sime's relentless activity starting to pay dividends. Clatters away with a right hook to the body. McGruin not pushing him off so much in the clinch. McGruin doesn't look so, so flash when he's forced to go backwards. A minute 30 to go. Another spinning back fist. Seems like everyone wants to throw that this evening. Yeah, as soon as Jordan Sainz starts putting some shots together, seems to be uh, finding his range really well. McGruin just dumps it back on him and lands a big shot out of nowhere. One thing that uh, Sim is doing is he's changing his angles quite well. And uh, he's being continuous as well. He's just shifting his angles, which is getting McGruin just to keep turning. And there was the example of second phase. Just step back. There's a nice uppercut from McGruin on the inside. Heavy right hand as well. There's those knees. Now he's starting to dig deep. Both boys really starting to put it together. Leaping knee from McGruin. Another spinning back fist. Referee Nansen. Just let that one go. Good decision from the referee. As the Come on, good people. Make some noise over here. What do you say? He missed the first quarter final. A knee just misses going high. Sign though, continuing to work. There's a right hand. Another spinning back fist. It's all on. Both boys relentless. 24 seconds to go, and everything's still in the balance. Another dump from McGruin. 15 seconds to go in the fight. Don't forget, we could have a draw. Looking for the spinning hook kick, not a lot of acid on it. Stop. Little mini comeback from McGruin in the final second. End of round three. Hard to pick for mine. Sign probably did enough in the third and final, but it will go down to the judges and a very hard one to pick. Hangman, when you look back at that, yeah, well, it, was, favor. it was the work rate of Jordan Syme. I thought he had the, the higher volume of the two, but I would give the Murdoch landed the bigger punches. So I think, you know, if any fight deserves a fourth round, it's going to be that one. Well, if you are back in the changing rooms, having won a fight in a minute and 30 seconds, you'll be looking at this and hoping they do go an extra round because uh, it really takes its toll on the body. This is the eight-man contest. This is what it is all about. Guts and intestinal fortitude. And uh, both fighters' corners will be keeping them sharp. Fighters to the centre ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. 
where we find a majority decision winner. And going on to the semifinals a little bit later on here tonight, your winner fighting out of the red corner, Jordan Sniper Sai! Well, majority decision, one of the judges scored it a draw, it's certainly worthy of an extra round, but the work rate of Jordan Sai edged him home against the very, very sharp and dangerous Thomas McGruin.